Amanda, how did you get this uh, breakthrough leading role? And uh, when you talk about that, Jason, do you also want to talk about how from that first casting this whole movie came together? Yeah, I'll talk a little bit and then she can jump in. Um, I was actually, when I first met Michael, he had already cast Amanda from a, you can tell her how, you can talk about yeah. how, but he had already cast Amanda. And I loved the script. I'd read another script that he had written that was phenomenal, but it was way, like a $20 million movie. Way too big for us to make together. So then Savage came over. It was called Savage. It's called Savage and the Rest of the World. And then I knew immediately that I wanted to work with Michael. And then you can tell us. Yeah, so I had a friend from acting class who forwarded me the Craigslist casting, the seeking actress. And I was a little hesitant at first, but I uh, submitted myself. And then I auditioned with the abduction scene. And <laughs> and then I had the call back in a park to do more like physical stuff to make sure I could be a fighter. But how long ago was that the Craigslist ad? Wow, yeah, that, the Craigslist <laughs> ad was, uh, it may have been like May 2010. And then 2010. I, but I auditioned I August wow. 2010. So yeah, I, met I like submitted and forgot about it. Yeah. The yeah. audition wasn't for the whole film, right? We did was the it? short first. We did a short version because that's all we could do. It was like a proof of concept. So it was a 15-minute piece that we did in um, October of 2010. And then it took like a couple more years to raise the financing, and we shot in 2012. Mm -hmm. So at what point did the rest of you come in? Well, they, Dan and Edward, you, you guys were in pretty early. You yeah, were, we were, uh, I met Michael in New Mexico when he was scouting locations. It ended up being shot up here in, or up north in Burbank for the most part in Lancaster and Ransford. But yeah, and Ed and I came on board, and, and Danelle was as part of the investor group, so we were on fairly early from that point on. And then we brought Gregory Lumpkin on board for visual effects because he's extremely experienced in that area, and there were a lot of them. They're Mike. amazing, by the way. Wow. Yeah. And also, Michael did an amazing job. Michael, yes, he Michael, did. Michael's not here tonight, but Michael is really a great DP, and he's also got a great eye and understands how all of this works, so it makes me, yeah. my job really easy. So there were 206 yeah. visual effects in the film, and Michael learned how to do all of them. And a lot of them, he didn't even know how to use the software before he learned it. Wow. So and a lot of the execution, Michael did the, the post on the show. Yeah, and then my, uh, Gregory was there during production to make sure that all those visual effects that Michael would be doing later were properly executed. And so, you know, there was a lot to do. Yeah. And then there were a ton of uh, special effects, makeup special effects. Um, and Hugo Villasenora, who's phenomenal, he did a lot of all the makeup yeah. stuff. All the prosthetics, and, all yeah. the cuts, and everything we had. And he's, he's worked on Star Trek and all kinds of things. Most of the shoots were at night, some of them were back-to-back -back nights, and so you can imagine just the continuity of the special effects and of the special effects makeup, and some of the scenes, Jason will probably, or Leslie will talk about it, but some of the scenes were shot a year ahead of the, the film, so those are all edited in, I thought, really well. I don't know if you want to talk about that. But. Uh, yeah, so we put together a little bit of money and shot for seven days, um, and uh, we shot, our intention was to shoot <coughs> scenes that were actually going to end up in the finished film. So we could save money. Um, some of those scenes did not end up in the finished film, but um, the scene when she was at the payphone, the scene when she was pulling the guy on the road and hit, and almost running into him, mm -hmm. the bar scene, the bar scene, the almost mm -hmm. the, the entire bar scene was shot an entire year before the rest of the. And movie. the opening, yeah. the opening when she's in gets the car. Right? Oh, when she gets the car yeah. too. Also, that's a year before. There's actually moments in. Uh, there's moments in the abduction scene where literally there's something that happens and that's a year before and then, <laughs> and then it's like a second later it's a year later. <laughs> and we just, and we, her hair had changed a little bit and we had to modify it. <laughs> Michael held on to the dresses, fortunately. We had three versions of the dress because they had to be the trap, they had to, to evolve throughout the film. Um, and then we had, you know, incredible costume people that had to deal with all that and the duct tape. There was a lot of vari variations in the duct tape. Well, are there questions from the audience before I have a we go on? Uh, sure. You and then in the pink. Yeah, I, I just have a comment to make. I can only imagine what your budget must have been. You got a better film than your budget. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just for this. Glad you understand that. The <laughs> <laughs> big piece question. of that is Michael, though. You know, um, he did a lot of work himself, and trust yeah. me, the post work would have been uh, ten times more expensive had he not pretty much took taken on editing, special effects, and a bunch of other things. Music, I mean, Foley, he did all that stuff as well too. It all paid so, off. Yeah. Well, I think one of the things that Michael did a really great job of because he 
he really does understand editing as well. He was shooting, and then sometimes we we feel finish the main shoot, and he's like, I need this, 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 and this, and this. He thinks this. like an editor. And also, yeah. we had previs. I don't know if you guys know what previs is, but it's like animation where you're literally animating the entire shot beforehand. Oh. So all of the action sequences in the film, we had already seen them animated. We were on set with the actors, with the crew, even the gaffers, the grips. Everybody saw exactly, even down to the expression of the bartender making that face. That was all animated. So and we knew exactly what we were going to do at all times. And another thing I think we got really lucky with is uh, a big scene was the gold mine or the sort of the, the third act where, you know, it's the showdown. Um, we were supposed to shoot that all in a house, and we had a house, and um, we didn't like the budget for the house. We couldn't afford it, really. And then Mike just started driving around and just randomly saw something up on a hill, went up there, and it was an abandoned gold mine. I never let anyone film there before, and so we got that place, and I think that is why... That film looks, our we film that looks so big is because, you know, of that location. We got so a, a phenomenal location. We got very lucky. And we didn't have to shoot with permits there because it was totally removed from the city. <coughs> and uh, it was a very dangerous location. It was extremely with sulfur and asbestos and yeah. nails. Oh what? And <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you what Michael and I were doing even before a lot of these people were involved. Michael and I were, I didn't, you guys, my parents would find this out for the first time. But Michael and I were literally going into this mine and with with, uh, with shirts wrapped around our mouth and like digging stuff out so that the actors wouldn't have to deal with it when we were there. It was crazy. It was bad and bad for our health and we were breathing it. And we were like, okay, let's just cover it with a big potato sack. That's fine. <laughs> no, 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 we, no, we did that. And so, um, but we also, to make the mine more safe is that we had to... Uh, we had to refix. We had to fix all the stairs, and we had to take away all the sharp objects, and we had to remove. It. I mean, it was a lot of two days of solid safety, just for those that location. Question over here. Yes, my question for Amanda. What kind of work did you have to do to prepare yourself for this Yeah, I did a lot of research uh, about being deaf, and then. For the manga stuff, I did a lot of research about manga specifically, and then Native Americans. Uh, I did a lot of journaling, and then I also, for the physical stuff, I did nine months of wushu training because we had time between shooting the trailer and the actual movie for me to do that, and archery lessons, and, you know, conversations with Michael about the character so that we're on the same page about the story we're telling. There's so many intense action scenes for you. There's the fight on the truck, there's the fight in the bar, there's the fight in the mine at the end. Which was the toughest and how did you do them all? Um, I guess the toughest for me was the end fight because that I didn't have a stunt double for that one. So, um, yeah, that was the Yeah, you pulled, <laughs> but you pulled it off. She yeah. sold that scene. She did that. Yeah. You know, we had uh, a couple stunt coordinators and... Um, but you know, like you said, all the work that you put in, all the work she put into it was phenomenal, and it shows. And Michael really didn't want her to have a stunt double for the last scene. He really wanted to show what she could do, and she really told him that. It was for the car, for the truck, truck fight scene. He <coughs> couldn't have her not have a stunt double. It was just too dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you see any no. Are there more questions from the audience? Yes. Yes, of course. Here, what was the most difficult scene to film with regards to special effects and the makeup that had to be done to make it in fruition? Gosh, there's so many scenes. Where can maybe answer? Well, the bar wire scene where she was tied up. Which is pretty gruesome, but that was that was tricky in terms of that was a long scene. <laughs> I had to go through a lot. It took a while. It took. We were just working really hard, getting that stuff. I mean, getting it realistic. Of course, it's it's a film, but getting it realistic and getting it to work. It just took a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of takes and a lot of blood. And it, you also, when you're working with this, the special effects blood, it has a lifespan. You have to do it pretty quickly, or it dries up, and then you have to take it off and redo it. So. While it was small, that was probably one of the more uh, kind of difficult and tedious scenes, I would say, in terms of uh, in terms of execution. Another question. Um, obviously, it was a technical tour de force as far as effects and um, like directing and visuals were concerned. Um, the story of the of the uh, Native American, you know, backstory was really really great. But a lot of these actors, I recognized from other films. They're all really good actors, and I'm wondering how intense the casting process was to get this collection of people together to work on this film. It was very, very thorough. 
Uh, Extremely thorough. Uh, we went through a lot of auditions, and uh, Michael was very, very particular, as he should have been. And there were some good actors that we found. Uh, there, were, there were actually just phenomenal actors, but they didn't fit among the brothers. I remember that happened to some guy from New York. They, he was so good that Michael was like, maybe we can make him a long lost brother from New York. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, Michael. He's, he's, he was really one of the best actors I've ever seen audition for anything, but he just didn't fit the film. We couldn't cast him. Um, I don't know. Leslie I, wants to talk about. Yeah, I think I think it, it was a, it was a long process because, like I said, we did the short, and um, from the short, Amanda, like she said, she was cast. Uh, Rod was cast. Wes was cast. There were a couple other people, like a couple other brothers that were cast that got replaced. Um, like the guy that's in the bar scene, and he's like dead, Jed. Ronnie. He was, he was no, supposed to be one. The 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 key key he was supposed to be one of the brothers, and the and then. That didn't happen because we, you know, we we sort of it was a test of proof of concept. But um, Wes was phenomenal, and he he delivered Ronnie, who um, is as well. So we had a lot of the original cast from that um, piece, and then we had to go out and then, like you said, it was come, came down to matching people as well um, finding with Brianna, the brothers. Finding uh, Cody and Skeeter was a really long process. Yeah, uh, and Mark. The, and, and, Mark. and and Dane, Dane Peeps, because the original person who was cast in it had another movie, and we couldn't wait for him, so we had to. Um, we got we found Mark for that. We couldn't. He actually got he booked Django Unchained while we were about to <laughs> shoot, and yeah. we we're like, I guess we are not going to wait for it. He's not going to tell us to wait for it. He's lost. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, how many shooting days was it? Um, it was, uh, well, you know, if you take in the first seven and uh, for the short, which because we used some of that stuff, not all of it, um, it, it was another 25 days on top of that. And a lot of pickup days. Yeah, that's good. And, 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 and Michael's, back, Michael's backyard, by the way. A lot of the stuff was shot in Michael's backyard in his bedroom. The, the, the arm, I'm, I'm giving away all the magic, but yeah. the arm, when she looks in the barn and all the, 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 grub worms, yeah, the, the worms are in her, that was, that was a composite. That's, this part of the arm was shot in Michael, just Michael and I were shooting his bedroom on the floor. We blacked out the entire room. And I, I went to the pet store to get mealworms, and we just put them in <laughs> And we put a little bit of blood, and we shot that the way you saw it. It was exactly how it was shot, and then he just composited onto her arm. Wow. Um, the other piece of that, very quickly, though, is the crew. Um, most of